Automotive trucks are built to transport equipment and materials of all sizes, shapes, and weights as rapidly and efficiently as is reasonably possible. Operated by a driver with the necessary skill and proper training to handle the apparatus. The design of the truck is determined by the job it has to accomplish and where it has to perform. This is especially true of fire department apparatus and operators whose assignments require the transportation of specialized equipment to obstructed areas under the most trying conditions. Because of the necessity of long ladders for successful firefighting operations, and the traffic conditions and other hazards encountered en route to a fire, a ladder truck is specially constructed. It is similar to a commercial semi-truck in that it consists of a tractor driven by a driver. But it differs from a commercial truck in the use of a trailer steered by a second driver, or tillerman as he's properly called. This is the story of the Tillerman. But remember, the job of driving a ladder truck safely and effectively depends upon close cooperation between driver and Tillerman. The Tillerman's job begins long before the long ring when he climbs to his seat and readies for a response to an alarm. To overlook the tillerman's responsibilities merely invites trouble, with the resultant loss or damage to equipment and quarters, possible loss of valuable manpower, and increased hazards of response that may lead to unnecessary loss of life and property. So let's return to quarters and take the necessary precautions to make a safe and efficient response. A close inspection of the parts of the apparatus assigned to the tillerman is highly important. Are the toolboxes and compartments securely closed? Increased width due to open doors may result in damage to apparatus and building. Is there any loose equipment that may be thrown from a fast-moving apparatus and damage persons or property? Are ladders properly placed and locks secure? Are the tiller post, seat, and windshield in position and securely locked? When the bell rings, check hurriedly for any obstructions to leaving safely. Creepers, buckets, and other equipment should be moved to safe locations. To ensure a safe start, check the position of the tiller wheels to the trailer so necessary corrections may be made. Then take your place and check. See that you are secure in your bucket seat or properly strapped in. See that battery charger is disconnected and that any loose equipment or tools are placed safely. And all men are safely aboard and ready to go. Take time to let them get set. The tillerman should be informed of the address of response, so he may anticipate a right or a left turn out of quarters and other turns en route. Drivers have left quarters without their tillerman, so the driver should be positive the tillerman is there and ready to go and absolutely never leave without the go signal. Don't signal the driver to proceed until everything is in readiness. Then acknowledge or originate the go-ahead signal. Before leaving quarters, double check to see the doors are fully opened. Then center the trailer in the doorway. If the driver makes a sharp turn in the street, it may be necessary to move tiller wheels away from the direction of travel. Always be aware of overhang of ladders. As tractor starts to turn, it may be necessary to move tiller wheels into the turn to compensate for overhang. As you clear the doorway, quickly check for traffic conditions. Check for pedestrians. For 
parked cars, utility poles, and any other obstructions or hazards. As quickly as possible, line up the trailer with the tractor and follow. You cannot lead or usurp the responsibilities of the driver. You are tillering to help him. Turn the tiller wheels as little as necessary to complete the run without over-tillering. When the tillering and driving operations are well coordinated, the tillerman's job becomes less complicated. But the tillerman must be ever alert. Situations are always arising wherein he must operate with exceptional dexterity, speed, and accuracy. Throughout the response, continually observe traffic conditions. Because of your better overall view, you can help the driver avoid traffic hazards, anticipate and note anything that may cause the driver to alter his course and consequently yours. The tillerman must persistently watch for vehicles, traffic standards, watch for low-hanging trees, and other obstructions. Mentally and visually check all points for adequate clearance, both sides of apparatus. Check approaching traffic. Check side streets or driveways. Be alert for a sudden hard emergency stop, which may result in jackknifing the apparatus. You, the tillerman, are in the open with only a small windshield for protection. You must be doubly alert in wet weather when reduced visibility increases the hazard. Wet streets, especially on streetcar tracks, set up a probable skid condition. Even on dry surfaces, be alert for possible skids at corners due to sand, gravel, or the natural tendency of the trailer to bounce, skid, or whip.